Valve's, Valve's next game will be in November and be an online card game. Oh, you mean Artifact? I'm looking forward to trying it, Valve. I would love to try your game. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. So, Agro Zoo. Zoo, 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 zoo. Let's take it one by one. Let's do ba, 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 Void Animals first. Negative synergy with Kelaseth. Okay, so if you're not running Kelaseth, what can you run? You can run Vulgar Homunculus, which actually has synergy with this card as well. So extra upside. Um What other two drops? You can run Demon Fire, Wolf, Juggler. Hmm. But this is only demons in your hand. So, Flame Imp, Void Walker, Nether Soul Buster if you run it, Doubling Imp if you run it, Despicable Dreadlord. But you have to have them in your hand. And on turn two, you won't have that much cards in your hand early on. Yeah, it's a two drop that you get punished for if you play it too early. Even if you get it on one minion, like a vulgar homunculus, it's already a two mana three three in terms of stat return. Would you run this over Kalasath? That's the decision you make, right? Would you run this over Kalasath? Oh, I just realized it's a technically a demon as well. Huh. Doesn't look like a demon. Hmm, let's put it here. Doubling imp. Three mana two two. Battle cry summon a copy of this minion. Three mana four four worth of stats. Is a demon. So she's an Illidari Draena, which means she's technically a demon. All right, nerd. With your nerd terms. Wait, Illidari? No, Illidari is um, an order of demon hunter. You mean Minari? Wait a second. That's not an Illidari. That's a Minari. Oh God, I'm the nerd. Wait, I got baited into... Oh, he answered it wrong on purpose, so... Ugh. Anywho... Uh, I like it. 3 mana, 4 for worth of stats. Across two bodies. Demon synergy. God, is that his nose or his ears? Hang on. Wait, that's his nose. That's a giant ass nose. So infusion. One mana give the leftmost minion in your hand plus two plus two. One mana plus two plus two isn't crazy good. It's great if you hit Serenai Chang Gang or Doubling Imp. Which you would probably run in Zoo. But it's the leftmost minion. Hmm. Omega Agent's another tough one. It's a great card to drop on 10. Like, if my zoo opponent drops this on 10, I'm crying. But you can't play this until turn 10. But if they do play on turn 10, it's devastating. Like, completely devastating. 
Maybe you wouldn't play it in zoo. Because if you're playing this in zoo, you have to hope you top deck it at turn 10. Or else it's just going to sit in your hand as a 5 and a 4 5 for a long time. That's great with Soul Infusion. But I think even without Soul Infusion, it's already really nice. Reminds me of a Gul'dan where it's like you drop this on turn 10 for a huge swing. It's so hard to rank Zoo card because they have lots of options. Now that is so Busta. 3 mana, 1 5 battle cry, gain plus 1 attack for each damage your hero has taken this turn. That's a demon. Stat line, one mana one three mana one five is okay, but you want at least two attack on it. Great if you have flame imp, but like I said, you would have dropped your flame imp by now. Is this card art a reference to Ghostbuster? His name is Buster and he's holding a laser zapping machine and holding it like they're doing Ghostbuster. That can't be a coincidence. Busting makes me feel good. Mm. Synergy with Spirit Bomb. Two mana deal for damage to a minion and your hero. So you can play a five mana. 5-5, five, five, deal 4 damage, plus you take 4, and you use an extra card. Okay, this analogy is not making sense. So for 1 mana less compared to Shadow Bolt, you pay for health. That's a big payment, even if it is to activate your Hematist Spellstone. I don't like Nether Soul Buster. I think it's a bit annoying to pull off. Spirit Bomb, 4 damage for 2 mana is a huge temple swing. It's just really expensive. In terms of your health total, you're paying 4. Is there an upside to lowering your health in Zoo? No, but maybe you're just lowering your health to pay for this for 2 mana 4 damage. Way better than so far. So far I can go face. This can go face. Yeah, Zoo's in a weird spot where I feel like there's a lot of these cards that are good, but I don't know how they all come together. Now this so with Kobo Librarian. Yeah, that would be pretty nuts. A 4 mana, 3, 5, 1, 2, 1. Ectomancy, summon copies of all demons you control. If you thought two Void Lords were bad. <laughs> hmm. It's good with, of course, Void Lord and Doom Guard. That's the only thing you would run this in. You wouldn't run this in Zoo. It's great with Skull of the Minari, of course. And Q Block. Because it allows you to get a demon without your opponent being able to respond to it unless they destroy your weapon. If they don't destroy your weapon, your Ectomancy essentially just copies a Void Lord or Doom Guard. I feel like you would rather just play Faceless Manipulator though. Yeah, people already run two copies of Faceless Manipulator in Q Block. And I feel like this achieved the exact same thing. Yeah. No, I don't like it. I feel like Faceless Manipulator is straight up better. And yeah, I think I think it's just straight up better. And you can face those manipulator cubes, which is a big deal. And your opponent's card, which is another big deal. So, in my opinion, any case where I would play this, I would play face this manipulator instead. S 
Solarium. Draw three cards at the end of your turn, discard them. Good refill. Pretty strong in zoo. Hail Mary play if you run out of options. Good, uh, good with Quest Warlock, although I don't think Quest Warlock's gonna be a thing. But great refill in zoo. Especially if you're running extra cheap minions. Yeah. A hundred percent you would run this in zoo. You can hold it for a while. Obviously you don't play this early on. But hold it, play your other one drop, play your other two drops, play on the three drops, and then like around turn five or six, you're gonna run out of gas, right? It's like, oh god, I'm running out of cards. And then you play this and refill the board instantly. Your opponent might be out of removals by then. Dr. Morgan. I would just like to point out, you know why they call her Dr. Morgan? Because it sounds like Dr. Mulligan. That's her ability. She swaps a minion. She swaps herself for another card, like a mulligan. -y. Dr. Mulligan, Dr. Morgan. That's the... Blizzard is pretty clever with these things. Because I recently found out, you know why they call it a polluted hoarder? Polluted hoarder. You know why they call it polluted hoarder? Because it's loot hoarder. Polluted hoarder. It's a play on the word loot hoarder. I found this out like last week and I thought it was really funny. And Dr. Morgan's like saying, it's like, Dr. Mulligan. Okay, you get the point. Anywho, this is my uh, plan for Dr. Morgan. Here's what you do. You play a knife jungler. Then you play Dr. Morgan. Then you shuffle a copy of Dr. Morgan into your deck. And then you play Spirit Sync Umbra, and then you kill your Dr. Morgan. You know what happens? Unlimited knife jungles. Pew, 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 pew. Infinite knives. Ladies and gentlemen, infinite knives. It takes like 20 mana, and I hope your opponent doesn't kill anything. But... The new OTK deck featuring five cards. Oh, technically four. Easy. And what's the best thing? They're all even. So you can tap for one mana and just tap. And you 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 tap. All for the low, low cost of one mana, which means you'll draw your combo much, much faster. Tells your board will be full. No, it won't. Dr. Morgan swaps with itself. So Dr. Morgan goes out of your board, and Dr. Morgan goes into your board, and then Dr. Morgan goes out of your board, and then Dr. Morgan goes into your board, and then Dr. Morgan goes out of your board, and Dr. Morgan goes into your board. Tell us, you need to draw the whole deck first. That's not true. You just run these minions. And you just need to draw the minions first. Come on, Chad. You think the genius behind Shuttle Walk didn't think about every single possibility. Swap won't work at summon, swap works at summon. Uh, Madam Goya is a testament to that. Toast, won't the animation take too long? Not really. It's like Shuttle Walk Shaman, where you can queue up the animation, but your opponent's dead already. All the calculations is done instantly. And, you know, what's 30 minus infinite health, right? It's negative infinite. Cr 
critics will say this is impossible. Oh, yeah, this card sucks, by the way. <laughs> so, they'll have some hard limit. I don't think they need it because technically it will end at some point. Unlike Defile, Defile has the potential to never end, but Infinite Knife Juggler, there will be an end when your opponent dies, right? There's no way for Infinite Juggle to be legitimately infinite. Ooh, Ice Block. Well, I mean, if it's Ice Block, then your opponent just won't be a valid target for Knife Juggler, right? Guess we'll find out day one. Good luck, Blizzard server. Good luck. So, Warlock. What's our feeling? Um, Zoo's gonna be popping. Solarium would definitely be a Zoo addition. The extra Zoo synergy card, like this, 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 and this, and this. Where it's like hand zoo, hand buff zoo. It's a bit more question mark. All right, last card, demonic pro project. I like it to uh, disrupt combo. I'm glad cards like this exist because you play this against shadow walk, and suddenly, hey, guess who's not shadow walking? So I'm gonna rate this pretty high, not because it's huge, impactful. Like, you can just play it in any zoo deck or warlock deck. More because it's a uh, combo killer. And we like combo killers. You pull this off against a shadow walk, you just win, right? Similar to uh, Skulking Guys, but minion based. Alright. That's zoo for now. Warlock. Why do I keep calling warlock zoo? Maybe it's because all warlocks will be zoo. Lights out.